I have a thing that I really, I've wanted to do for years, which is the box and you stick your head in the box and your head is in like a, a miniature theater. So it's like you're at a theater and there's little um, servo powered dudes up on stage uh, doing, doing stuff. And now in the time of the coronavirus, um, I think it's the time is ripe for, for a, a synthetic theater experience. So my plan is to create the entire stage and the mechanisms in Blender so I can test out the rigging and the animation because I'm going to mock up the whole thing um, in Blender to an audio track in the video editor. So all I'd have to do is laser cut out the pieces and tell the Arduino to do the proper servo motions. And honestly, it doesn't seem that complicated. Whole thing's going to be powered by these servos. And so I can just measure it with the calipers here and model it in Blender. And we can use it as a negative Boolean. So it'll slip right in there and just uh, eat that away. Pow! And now, yeah, we should just be able to print that out and screw it in. But I can also use this to solve to solve some IK stuff. All right, so I so I've lined up this bone with the uh, with the servo arm here, and I'm gonna set up an IK constraint solving to these hinge points here. So if I go into pose mode, I should just be able to let's see, Shift I to act bones, and uh, we will make this one be two bones along and do the exact same over here. Shift I, yes, two bones along. And now ideally if we do this, hey, they, they do, they they work. So we can preview what, what this will look like. Um, so we can also add, go back into edit mode here. Um, whoa, bones are very big when you're working so small. Um, this will be the bone for like, you know, one dude and the other dude, just parent that. Uh, keep offset. Keep offset. That works. That works really good. So I just have to rotate the servo a few degrees. Do, 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 do. All right, we'll swing these guys in. Parent them to these bones. And then, hey, all right. So this could be this could be some sort of dramatic dramatic sword fight. And what I want to figure out is an easy way to make it look as if uh, one of them, when they move this way, their sword also moves even further. Okay, and it was it was really easy. Just a, um, a little, it'll just be a little arm coming off of his back and uh, separated by like a paper clip or some sort of spacer uh, mounted to the stage here. And result being it should do when they go back and forth. Arr, we're fighting now. <laughs> The exact same rig on this side, except instead of being mounted to the base of the stage, it's going to be mounted to a servo. So I can have uh, have him bite his thumb, which I, I don't think I've said yet, but this is going to be that opening scene to Romeo and Juliet where the guy bites his thumb, um, which is maybe a bad idea because I just read it and it turns out every character in the book shows up. So it's two dudes and then they run into two other dudes and then they fight for like a line and then Benvolio shows up and then Tybalt shows up and they say a couple lines and then the citizens show up and then Capulet shows up and his wife and also Montague shows up and his wife and there's a, a prince who has a tendons. And this was a, this this is a bad scene to to have done, but I might I might do a little bit of, of rewriting. But yeah, so this this should work fairly straightforward for like I bite my thumb at you, sir. But then also, do you quarrel? Yes, we're gonna we're gonna quarrel. It looks like he's punching himself in the face. <laughs> um, but I could let's see if I if I lower this, then yeah, it looks like he's just got his fists up going against uh, Mr. Mr. Sword here, which uh, isn't isn't the best approach, but. He's a he's a bold one, and and the thing I have to wonder at this point is is this harder than than I expect to actually to actually fabricate? Like most all of this rigging, I could I could do with like just wire and popsicle sticks. It's it's kind of Wiley e. Coyote physics of just like all right, as long as the wood has a hinge and two things, you know, got like a brad or something holding it together, it should it should work. But maybe I I don't know. I really didn't want didn't want this to be like the world's biggest project ever it's just it's it's tempting me so i want to i want to go for it so i ended up kind of writing my own script it's the it's the first scene of romeo and juliet but right before everybody else shows up it it just kind of derails and goes into its its own thing and so i called up uh my friends amy and tom and they helped me with the voice acting quarrel i will back thee yeah yeah let's let's kill this guy Fear him not. Let's take the law on our sides. Let him begin. Oh, yeah, that's no, that's a very good idea. I, I got it. I will frown as I pass by and let him take it as he list. That's a horrible plan. Nay, as he dares, I'll bite my thumb at him, which is a disgrace to him if he bears it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, do that. No, that's that's a much better plan. Simultaneously, I'm trying to refamiliarize myself with 
servos and Arduinos and all of that because it is not like riding a bike and I've forgotten everything I ever knew about uh, voltage and ohms and all of that good good stuff and, and programming anything. Um, but it's going it's going okay. This is this is exciting for me. The the servos rotate from from zero to one eighty counterclockwise, and so um, and what I'd love is to be able to animate these and actually see the value that I should have on the proper servo. Which means let's see this this should be uh, zero. So I think if I apply this as a rest pose, yeah, this is now zero, which means vertical is ninety, which gives me give in either direction. Excellent. Okay, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna work really good. So now I can just do all of this and use that as the roadmap for translating. That's very that's very cool. So what I want to do is I want to be able to animate all of this first in Blender and use that as kind of a, a beat sheet for uh, the cues for when all the servos should be doing all of the stuff so it syncs up with the audio. And uh, the the Arduino measures in milliseconds, a thousand units per second. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the frames per second to 100. That way I can look at whatever uh, custom, 98, is that, oh, I guess you can't go to a full 100. That's probably gonna throw me off, isn't it? Oh wait, no, base, one. Okay, good, I uh, don't know why that was. Uh, and so then I can look at what frame it's on, multiply it by like 10 or something and plug that into the, the Arduino code. Uh, I'm gonna load in the audio in the video editing interface, so just shift A sound. Everybody would be so upset. There we go. And so now, just have to animate. Quarrel is between our masters. And us, they're men. Ah, yeah, yo, you okay. Tis all one. I'll show myself a tyrant. When I'm fought with the men, I'll be cruel with the maid. Turns out the, uh... uh it's gonna take a very long time. Okay, well, maybe not that long. Maybe just a couple hours. But it's gonna take, like, a week anyways for the, the sound mod module to get shipped here. Um, it's a little thing that's gonna be playing the audio in the, in the theater setup. And, um... So, and I also have like a bunch of different videos I've been working on and I've just been kind of doing all these little pokes, all of these things. I, I got very excited about stuff and so I kind of spread myself a little too thin project wise. And so I'm just gonna upload this video so I feel at least I have some sort of checkbox checked somewhere. And uh, I will, I will work on this more when, when stuff arrives in like, in like a week, but yeah.